Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let us pray. Our Lord, our God, want to say thank you for this moment. We give you praise. We give you honor in the name of Jesus. Lord, we speak into the, our heaven that let our heaven open in the name of Jesus. Heavens of mercy, heavens of favor, heavens of lifting, heavens of revelation. Let it open upon each and every one of us at this time in the name of Jesus. Arise, O Lord, glorify your holy name in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome each and every one of us to this time of prayer in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Ariola Oreolua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry. And this is Pray Eagles Network. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. Today we are going to speak, today being the 41st day of this week, the 25th day of this 10th month, Monday. We are going to pray shortly. We are going to take some short prayer for this week. And as we pray into this week, the Lord will hear us in the name of Jesus. Amen. The title of today's prayer will be Separation Unto Fulfillment. Separation Unto Fulfillment. Separation Unto Fulfillment. And our anchor scripture is taken from Acts 13, verse 2. Acts 13, verse 2. Acts 13, verse 2. Please, let's take our Bible and quickly open to Acts 13, verse 2. In Acts 13, verse 2, the Bible states there that, And God said, and sorry, as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereon unto I have called them. Acts 13, verse 2, As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me. Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them. Praise the Lord. Many of us, what we need in life is the separation of God, the word of God for separation. And there are different levels of separation. Different level of separation. Hear me and hear me very well. Why you are not being fulfilled in that place where you are is because you are not being separated unto the living God. You are not being separated by the word of God unto your defined assignment. You are not being separated by the word of God unto the assignment that God has for you in order for you to fulfill your destiny. So as long as you are there in that position, in that place, hear me, you cannot be fulfilled. That is why this man, these two men, Barnabas and Saul, they were there as a pastor, they were there as a priest, they were there as one of the, the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ doing the work of God in the church among the brethren. But the main assignment for them, they have not done it. So God have to speak through the Holy Ghost and say, separate unto me these two men so that they can do the work which I have given unto, unto them. Ma, sir, what is the defined assignment of God for you? What are the things that God wants you to do for him in life? What is your purpose in life? What is the agenda of God for your life? If you are not separated unto that assignment, may we not be doing another man's business, may we not be doing another man's assignment on earth in the name of Jesus. Many of us, we need to be separated from our place of birth, our land of nativity, according to Ezekiel 16 and Joshua 24. In Ezekiel 16, if you are not separated from your place of birth, the corruption there, the problem there will weigh you down. Some other people, they need to be separated from their father's house. Genesis 12. God said, Abraham, separate, leave your father's house, leave your place of birth, and do what? And move to where I have destined you to be, where I propose that you fulfill destiny. Leave your father's house. Many of us, yes, you are not living physically, you are not living physically in your father's house, but spiritually, you are living in your father's house. That is why you keep seeing yourself in dream in that place. And as long as you are seeing that your father's house, there will be limitation to what you can achieve in life. Number three, some of us, we need to be separated from Aaron. What is our Aaron? Our Aaron, according to Genesis 11, 31, 32, is our environment, our location, our country. 
That means what are the things that people around us are doing? You need to be separated from those things. God has not called you to that environment. You need to move to another environment. You need to move to another location. You need to move to another state. You need to move to another country. You need to move to another nation. Another set of people. God needs to separate them from their lot. God needs to do what? Separate them from their lot. Remember Genesis 13. God separated, them, separated Abraham and Lot. Until God separated Abraham and Lot, there was delay in the life of Abraham. You remember, God said, Abraham, leave your father's house, leave everything about your father, and move to the land which I will show you. Genesis 12, verse 1. Now God said unto Abraham, get thee out of thy country, from thy kindred, that means your relative, your father, from thy father's house unto the land that I will show you. Do you see that, that instruction? Leave your father, your country, and from your kindred, your brethren. But when Abraham was going, he fast forward. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. Who was Lot? One of his kindred. One of those people that God said he should separate himself from. Disobedient. And that man brought problem into the life of Abraham. Move forward to Genesis 13 verse 7. And there was strife between the X-men of Abraham's cattle and the X-men of Lot's cattle. Do you see? But when you now move forward to verse 14 and verse 16, and the Lord said unto Abraham, after the Lord was separated from him, lift up now, now, now your eyes, and look from the place that to the north world, to the south, to the east, to the west. For the land which thou seest to thee, I will give you unto thee and to thy, thy seed forever. Do you see here that scripture? And now, after, after, so, Lot, the presence of Lot in the life of Abraham delayed the manifestation, delayed the promise of God in his life. Who is that Lot in your life? Who are those people that you are still moving with? Who are those people that you are still joining with in life? And their presence in your life has brought, has introduced your life to a season of delay, season of stagnation, season of setback. Today, may the Lord God separate you and them in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God separate you and them in the name of Jesus. Another thing about that uh, Abraham and, um, and Lot, when you still move forward to Genesis 19, Genesis 19, Genesis 19, the Bible tells us that in Genesis 19, the Lord went to Zohar unto the mountain with his two daughters. And when you move forward, uh, downward, you see that the, the two daughters of uh, Lot gave birth to two nations. The two daughters of Lot, they gave birth to two nations. Who are these two nations? The Moabite and the Ammonite. The Moabite and the Ammonite. But when you move forward into 2 Chronicles 20, verse 1, 2 Chronicles 20, verse 1, it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab, the grandchildren of Lot, and the children of Ammon, the grandchildren of Lot, and with them, all that beside the Ammonites, came against the Jehoshaphat to battle. Jehoshaphat was one of the great grandchildren of Abraham. So the grandchildren of Lot came against the grandchildren of Abraham. Those that God said you should separate your life from, and you refuse to obey, in the nearest future, may their, may their seed, may their children, may their offspring not be the enemy to your own offspring in the name of Jesus. That was what we have there. That was what we have there. That was what we have there. I pray for each and every one of you today that you need to be separated from your kindred, from your nation, from your environment. Let that, in order for you to fulfill destiny, let God separate you in the name of Jesus. Let God separate you in the name of Jesus. Let God separate you in the name of Jesus. Another set of people that God needs to se uh, separate you from uh, is your area of Egypt. You need Some people need separation from the Egypt. What is Egypt? Genesis 13, verse 1. Genesis 13, verse 1. The Egypt to Abraham at that time was what? Was comfort zone. He did not see the face of God. He saw comfort there and he went there. He went down to Egypt. It was in Egypt that he got a, a maid called a guy. And that a guy came into his life, into his marriage, in order, enemy programming in order to scatter his marriage. See, today, thousands of years, 
the children, the offspring of Agai, the Ishmael, they are still problem unto the family, unto the lineage, unto the children of uh, Sarah today. So many of us, God needs to separate us from our comfort zone so that we will not use our hand to bring in problem into our life. To, we will not use our own money to buy problem. Abraham bought a slave, a guy, and that slave brought problem into the life of Abraham. Those of you in your comfort zone, may the Lord God deliver you from problem that surround comfort zone in the name of Jesus. Let me talk, take three more so that we can pray. Some of us, God need to separate us from our own Isaac. God need to separate us from our own Isaac. What is that? Uh, what is Isaac? Our Isaac, uh, our own comfort, our own joy. What is giving us joy over God? What is taking the place of God in our life? Some people is their car. Some people is their children. Some people is their husband or wife. Some people is the work that they are doing. Some people is, what is that? Thing? Some people, do you know that is the gold? They are hearing their resource, their mobile phone. Instead of them to speak to God, you see them pressing phone. They are in the church, they are pressing phone. Worship is going on, they are pressing phone. Some of them, they are not pressing phone. During worship, when you are worshiping God, you see them taking a selfie, snapping themselves. Who are you deceiving? Who are you doing? Some people, they tell you, during, during sermon, they tell you that they are reading Bible, but they are going they are on, on mobile phone. They are on their phone, uh, solving the net, reading email uh, on Facebook. May the Lord God deliver each and every one of you from your eyes sick that will put you into trouble before God in the name of Jesus. Some of us, God need to separate us from unfriendly friend. Delilah was a friend to Samson. Delilah was a friend to Samson. But unknown to Samson that she was unfriendly friend. Unfriendly friend. The friend that are in your life in order to understudy your movement, for, to, for them to report you to your enemy. Judas was in the life of Jesus Christ in order for him to understand the movement of Jesus Christ so that he can relate to the enemy in order for him to be captured. As many of you who have been surrounded with unfriendly friends, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God deliver you from unfriendly friend in the name of Jesus. May God deliver you from unfriendly friend in the name of Jesus. Any unfriendly friend that surround you, that surround your home, that surround your marriage, that surround your business, that surround your career, let the Lord God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Let God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Let God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Last but not the least for today. Some of us, God need to separate us from church activities that limit the agenda of God in our life. <laughs> hey, somebody say, what is already seen again? Act 13, verse 2. Act 13, verse 2. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, these people, they minister to God, these people, they are workers in church, these people, they are apostles, these people are pastors, they are deacon. I don't know your title in the church. I don't know what title they gave you in the church. I don't know your position in the church. Is that assignment they gave you in church the defined assignment of God for your life? Some of you, you are to minister to the, to, to, to the people outside on the road. Some of you, you are evangelists in the rural area, but you are sitting inside the church. Some of you, you are to support all these young uh, pastors outside, young ministers outside. You are still sitting in the church, being a big and a big, uh, big man. <laughs> I am so sorry for you. As they minister to the Lord, as they minister to the Lord, it, the Bible did not say they didn't work for God. They minister to the Lord. They are working for God. They are even fasting too. But the Bible said, Holy Ghost now said, These two men separate them unto me for the work I have for them because they are not to sit in the church. Your seed, your tithe, your offering, your labor, your sweat. Where is God saying you should put it? I'm not saying it is wrong for you to work in church. But hear me, I hold nobody apology today. If your assignment is there on the feed and you are sitting in the church, you are, ch you are ch changing yourself. 
your assignment is in one ministry under the bridge and you are sitting in that uh, big church, you are just changing yourself. As they minister to the Lord, they are working for God. Had it fasting to it. But God appeared unto them and said, no, your work is not inside church. Your work is outside there. So you people separate Barnabas and Saul unto me for the work which I have called them for. So many of us, God needs to separate us. We need to even separate ourselves from church programs, from church administration, from church activities that are limiting the agenda of God for our life. May the Lord God open our eyes to his word in the name of Jesus. Can we just lift up our hand this morning? We are going to take two or three prayers and we pray into this week. That Father, open my eyes to your agenda for my life in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, to your agenda for my life. Your agenda for my life. Father, open my eyes to them in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes to them in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Let the Lord God open your eyes to his agenda in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, open my eyes, O Lord, to your agenda for my life in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes to your agenda for my life in Jesus' name we are praying. The next prayer you are going to pray, it says, separate unto me as the minister to God and fasting. It says, separate unto me Barnabas and Saul. So, Lord my God, from unfruitful work, do you hear that prayer? Unfruitful work. Because if you are doing what God has not said you to do, it may be right, it may be good. It may be good, but it's not right before God. That thing you are doing inside church is good, but before God it's not right, because that is not what God has sent you to do. So you are going to say, oh Lord my God, from unfruitful work, separate me, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, separate me, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, from unfruitful work, any assignment that I undertake for myself, any assignment, any work I'm doing in the church, in my home, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, that will be unfruitful unto you. Lord, separate me, O oh Lord. 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 Decree and declare. Let the Lord God separate you from unfruitful work. In the name of Jesus, any work that will not bring glory to God, say, Oh Lord, my God, separate me, 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 separate me. In Jesus' name, we have decreed the top prayer for you today, the very top prayer. God said, Abraham, I want to send you, I want to use you, but you need to separate yourself from your nation, from your country, and from your kindred your brethren. But the Bible said, he left with Lot. Separate yourself from your family. He left, he carried one of the family members. <laughs> oh, hero. And those, that man became a problem for him, delayed the manifestation of God in his life to the point that the Bible said, until God separated Abraham and Lot. After God separated Abraham and Lot, God now appear unto him and say, look to the left, look to the right, to your front, to your back, as long as you can see. Say, oh Lord my God. I can hear you. Say, oh Lord my God. Say any man, any woman in my life, delay your manifestation. Say anyone in my life, delay my man your manifestation. Delay your promise in my life. Say, Father, separate us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, this very week, anyone that is in my life, anyone that is in my business, anyone that is in my career, that their presence is delayed the manifestation of God's promise for my life. Oh, Lord, my God, separate us, 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 separate us. Father, separate us in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, separate us. Anyone that their presence is injuring your, your, your promise, your, your manifestation, your, your fulfillment in my life, Lord, separate us. 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 Decree and declare. Let the Lord God separate you in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, separate us in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, separate us in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, separate us in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Let the Lord God separate you and them. In the name of Jesus, anyone in your life, anyone in your marriage, anyone in your business, anyone in your career, anyone in your environment, that their presence 
I delay the manifestation of God in your life. Any unfruitful friend, any unfriendly friend, say, Father, separate us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Separate us, O oh Lord. 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 Decree and declare. Let the Lord God separate you and them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have decree. I decree, I declare concerning each and every one of you that are listening to me right now. I decree and I declare from unfruitfulness in your place of birth, from your land of nativity that is holding you back from your father's house, that is bringing limitation upon yourself, from your harem, your environment, your location, your country, that cage your virtues from your, your, your family members, from your lot that did not allow the promise of God to come to pass in your life, from your Egypt, your comfort zone that you have created for yourself, that did not allow your life to move forward and upward, from your hey guy, the, 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 the things that you use your money to, to bring in into your life, and their present are, 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 have opened your life to satanic alternatives, satanic intruder, from your own Isaac, your own comfort, your own joy, that limit the flow of God in your life, from unfriendly friends, from unfruitful work of the church, from church activities that limit the work of God in your life. Let the Lord God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Let God deliver you. Let there be separation. Let there be separation. Let there be separation. Let there be separation. In the name of Jesus, so shall he be. In Jesus' name, I have decreed. In Jesus' name, I have decreed. Once again, my name is Ariola Oreolua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, Praying Eagles Network, for prayer, for counseling, plus 234-80-6268-6255. Once again, I pray for each and every one of you. From anything holding you back, let the Lord God separate you and them in Jesus' name. Happy New Week in Jesus' name.